the T610 has an additional 12 volt power outlet socket next to the fuse cover panel. The optional trailer park brake release valve is typically used when the trailer brakes need to be released such as in a tipping application or when using air scales fitted to a trailer. This button can only be released after the parking brakes have been applied and stabilised. The yellow knob is for the truck's park brakes fitted to the rear wheels only. To apply the park brake, pull this yellow knob out. It automatically releases the red octagonal knob beside to apply the trailer park brakes as well. To release the truck parking brakes only, push the yellow knob in. To release the full combination of brakes, push in both knobs. There is another 12 volt outlet next to the red octagonal trailer air supply knob. The main interior light switch the two-stage engine brake switch, the suspension dump valve, the inter-axle power divider lock, the optional rear axle cross lock, the optional forward axle cross lock, the driving light switch, the rear loading light switch, the exterior light self-test lamp enables the lights to cycle through in sequence while you walk around the vehicle during your daily pre-trip inspection to ensure they are all working. All the switches have backlit lighting, which you can see in this example. The ABS off-road function is intended to improve stopping performance in off-highway conditions such as loose gravel and mud. The ABS lamp flashes slowly during off-road mode engagement. If your vehicle is equipped with an optional manual fan switch, the engine fan can be engaged when the ignition is on and the switch is in the manual position. The engine fan will be on regardless of the engine temperature. With the hazard switch in the on position, the emergency flashes make all turn signals flash simultaneously. The hazard lights work independently of the ignition switch. The T610 heating and air conditioning system has three distinct modes, manual, automatic and maximum defrost. The recommended mode for all conditions that do not require windscreen defrosting is the automatic mode. This mode is capable of maintaining cabin comfort under various driving conditions without driver interaction. The auto function uses a sunlight sensor to measure the amount of sunlight entering the cab. The sensor is located at the base of the windscreen on the passenger side of the dashboard. It is important not to block this sensor. Maximum defrost mode is a one-touch windscreen defrosting function that activates with the touch of a button. The fan speed is adjusted by rotating the dial clockwise to increase the speed or counterclockwise to decrease the speed. Setting the fan dial to zero turns the HVAC system off. The source of air entering the cab can be set to either outside air or recirculation air using the button inside the fan speed control dial. The cab temperature is set using the temperature control dial. The operating range is 16 to 28 degrees Celsius in 1 degree increments. The button inside the temperature control dial engages the AC compressor. When activated, the indicator on the button will illuminate. The mode of air distribution inside the cab is set using the air distribution dial. Five icons on the dial indicate the primary mode options. The driver may also select a secondary mode in between the primary modes indicated by points on the dial. Airflow is provided to the side windows in all modes. When the vehicle is equipped with dual levelling valves, the number one gauge indicates the pressure in the driver's side airbags and the number two gauge indicates the air pressure in the passenger side airbags. Drive axle temperature gauges indicate the temperature of the lubricant in the axles. The engine oil temperature gauge indicates the engine oil temperature. See your engine operation and maintenance manual for details on your specific engine. The manifold pressure gauge indicates the power your engine is putting out by showing the amount of turbo boost. If the pressure indicated by your manifold pressure gauge goes down, there may be something wrong with your engine. Have it checked by an authorised service technician. The fuel filter restriction gauge tells you the condition of the fuel by indicating the restriction from the fuel filter to the fuel pump. Rotate the headlight dial clockwise one position to turn on the park lights and continue to the second position to turn on the headlights including all side and tail lights. The dimmer switch is used to alter the brightness of the instrument panel lights. The panel lights are on full intensity during the day and go to dimmer mode when the headlights are on. The engine timer relay is integrated into the truck electrical system and will maintain the engine running for three minutes after the engine key is switched off. 
The idle timer can be overridden using this switch on the dash. This idle timer can be reprogrammed to 30 seconds, 1 minute or 5 minutes at the dealership. The engine and ABS diagnostic switches are located under the cup holder. To turn on the reading lights, push this chrome ring. 